everyone, it's Gracie Sims. Um, first of all, I'd like to apologise for not uploading a video in more than two months. I have been really busy at uni and I've just, I have not had the time to sit down and think of a house to design or actually kind of even just go on the game and make anything up as I go along, which is what I normally do. But um, I thought I would, now I've finished uni, uh, my second year, I thought I would go straight on and build you guys a house. So here it is. Now I went for sort of a modern classic, I suppose you could call this, because um, it's got really modern roofs and it's got lots and lots of windows. It's only got two bedrooms, so I thought by the end of it, after actually designing the interior, that it would be the perfect house for um, sort of like an expensive student house I suppose um, because it's only got two rooms so that's perfect for two people and although um, I'm a girl and I try not to make my houses too um, stereotypically girly or guys so that um, both genders could actually appreciate like the house and stuff like that um, this house is quite girly um, mainly because of the colours and hadn't been on sims in a while so I thought um, I'd kind of do sway more to what I thought was nicer rather than try to be try to generalize if you get what I mean so um, I would say that it's a student house for girls and so yeah but um, it's very modern and it's sort of like a cottagey modern as well because it's got a lot of wooden textures textiles to it and um, also a lot of stone walls and you know wooden flooring and things like that so um, I think it looks really really nice um, it did take me a really long time actually um, also the roofs on the front are much nicer than the roofs on the back and um, if you know my house as well you'll know I'm not great at roofing but um, I do like the roof on the front the reason why um, it's so like I like the front and not the back is because I did this house slightly differently um, Basically, rather like normally on my videos, I will kind of build the foundation of the house and then the second floor and then I'll do the roof and then I'll sort everything else out like the windows and things. But on this house, I've kind of worked backwards. So I've worked through the house um, building wise. Uh, so, for example, in a minute, you'll see that um, I've kind of done all of the front garden and all the front windows of the house but I haven't even got the back of the house yet if you see what I mean like at all so that's what I mean when I say I've worked backwards um, that is why I prefer the roof on the front and not the back I don't know why I needed to explain it but I just felt like I did so anyway yeah as I said it's only got two bedrooms um, it's got a bathroom downstairs and upstairs though um, but the colours are really relaxing I think um, like in the lounge it's kind of like a a green like a lime greeny bluey actually no it's not blue at all <laughs> um, a lime green wooden look that kind of goes with um, the whole house um, but yeah that's mainly the lounge and so I've I've um, incorporated sort of a lime green color and um, like light blue pale blue colors into most of the bedrooms um, so I hope you like it when we get to that bit um, but because um, it's such a long video well 18 minutes is not that long but um, I've made it that long like it could have been much shorter but I had a few um, complaints saying that the, they wanted the video to be sped down because um, they couldn't actually kind of see what was really going on um, so I, and I wasn't sure about the speed myself and I was thinking I don't know what people want whether they want to see it quicker so they don't have to watch so much or whether you know whether they want it slower so they can watch in detail um, but now I've got that so the videos from now on will be slightly longer but um, will be slower so they're in more detail so um, yeah I will probably not be talking for the whole 18 minutes I think I'm quite a good talker but I don't think I'll be able to talk for that long <laughs> on camera but um, yeah also I was thinking uh, just swaying off the house slightly I was thinking of setting up a um, Hunger Games Minecraft um, series or something like that where I'd sort of film myself in game and I'd record like my reactions and stuff so if you would um, be so kind as to leave in the comments as to what you think about that and what your thoughts are or whether there are any other games you want me to play that um, you think are particularly fun. So just let me know and I will try and get a hold of them and we can just see how it works I suppose. Um, 
so yeah as you can see I'm now currently on the garden and well sort of the patio garden and there's a bit here where I couldn't really decide what to do because I wanted something that um by the little um sort of pool area it's not really a pool what do they call them oh, I can't remember um <laughs> so I wanted something by there but I wasn't really sure like I tried a barbecue and that didn't really work um, so I ended up just putting some chairs there which I don't know why I didn't think of in the first place to be honest <laughs> um, so they fit perfectly there and um, this is the roof bit that I wasn't too sure on because The Sims doesn't actually have or The Sims 4, The Sims 3 does but The Sims 4 doesn't have um, kind of an easy um, curved roof I suppose that fits around um, you know like one section of roof that fits around a certain um, octagon or whatever <laughs> um, part of the roof so that's really annoying so you have to kind of clump the roofs together rather than have one piece which is very irritating because um, I like a lot of my houses to be sort of tower like and I can't do that when there is no one roof piece to do that for um, so yeah as you can see it looks a bit messy but let's draw away from that and um, we've got a nice garden space um, which is going to be filled with a pool and I've kind of tried to be a bit more unique with this pool I've put um, actually I put a fence around like half of the pool which you'll see in a minute and um, yeah uh, you'll see that in a minute at the moment I'm just kind of um, you know putting extra little bits on and the wallpapers and stuff and as you can see it's very got a lot of wood on there for the walls and lots of windows um, which I really like I think it's it looks really modern but it's sort of classic and it's like cottage I don't know I can't describe it if you know what I'm trying to what I'm trying to say then help me out and <laughs> leave it in the comments um yeah also it's very flowery um and I don't know see that's this is why I think it's a cottage because it's got lots of flowers and um stones and things around there and um and seats and things but then the house itself is really modern so that's why I don't think I can decide Anyway, so this is the pool, and I've put, um, there's the fence going up there, and I've put um, sort of, well, bushes and sort of things, lavender actually, uh, around around the pool, because I think that makes it look nice. Um, a couple of more trees and big rocks to go there. So basically, um, I'm really sorry if this voiceover doesn't sound um, like my best. Obviously, it's been so long since I've actually done a video that I'm actually a little bit nervous, because... I haven't got into back into the swing of doing voiceovers yet and it's kind of a weird concept because you're sort of talking to your viewers but you're also talking to yourself <laughs> into a computer so it's a bit of a weird concept and um, I got quite good at it um, obviously by the end of last summer because I'd done so many videos and I got to know you guys so well and all of your comments were so lovely that um, I just didn't feel nervous anymore but now I kind of and now I've had like a whole half a year off it feels really strange <laughs> um, but I'm sure I'll get used to it and I'm really sorry but I'm sure they'll get better um, again like they did before um, so yeah now we're moving on to the hallway and this is the one part of the house um, that I really like well not the one part I like lots of parts but that was the first bit I did and um, I actually go back and change the flooring because I didn't think um, I think it looks nice but I went back and changed it anyway because I wasn't too sure about the colour and I thought I'd play it safe uh, with this with this part because it's the hallway so it's quite important. <laughs> um, so now obviously this is the kitchen I think unless it's the lounge I don't know. <laughs> um, oh my gosh I'm so sad. <laughs> um, anyway yeah so I thought I'd do this little counter thing which would be completely at the side of the kitchen which um, looks slightly different in my opinion. don't know if you like it or not I thought it was just a bit nice. Um, yep just don't know what I'm doing with the bins there there we go take that away put the plant there <laughs> um yep yeah, put the oven in uh the walls in here are really nice I think um I've kind of gone for again a wooden look but um in this house particularly I've um actually added majority the majority of the items in the house and then I've added the wallpapers just because um I think it adds to it after but then it doesn't limit you to what you can put because um, I don't know often it's best to kind of sort of like tailor the walls and the floors to what you have in the house rather than the other way around because otherwise you're a bit limited um, so that was my theory anyway so that's what I've done with this house and it worked out pretty nicely I think 
So that's the first room with slight um, bit of rock on the wall or, or stone, I suppose. It's not really rock. Um, so yeah, and now I've just kind of, I don't know about you, but I don't really like um, most of the appliances that can be used on The Sims 4. Like there, there don't seem to be that many. And I was a bit annoyed because I wanted to put lots and lots of shelves in, but there weren't really, like generally around the house, and there weren't many items that actually went on the shelves like they would only go on tables or you know so that kind of annoyed me um anyway enough ranting on um moving on to the lounge and this I, this is the room i think i like the most um oh, i change all of this around i get really annoyed because the windows just don't work like they overcrowd the room way too much um so I change them later and I really like using curtains in this house as well because obviously there are a lot of windows and people like the privacy you know so I put in a lot of curtains um, so I had to change those windows around because none of the curtains worked oh also that wall colour right there that brown one that is gorgeous I love that colour it's one of my favourite colours and it's actually funnily enough the colour of my room and I only just noticed that so Clearly my Sims brain is the same as my human one. Um, but yeah, and so as you can see, I've kind of kept with the sort of limey green, I suppose. It's not really lime, but you get what I mean. Minty or not minty. Oh, I need to go back to, to, to primary school and learn my colours again. I'm not very good. <laughs> um, so anyway, as you can see, I've changed the windows and I've added lots of nice curtains. It took me ages to decide those, but I edited it out because honestly, you would have just been... <laughs> so bored just watching me pick curtains um so yeah and like i said on that shelf up there i would have um put something else rather than just plants but that's all that really went on it so if you know anything else that goes on the shelves that you can put on the shelves then please let me know because that is all i can find that goes on it so i'm a bit annoyed at the moment <laughs> um yeah i moved the door so that it looks because I had a bit more room in the lounge than here so then I put like the shoe rack and the coat rack there rather than the door and I think that looks nice um, here I kind of change around the flooring again deciding which looks better um, yeah moving on to the bathroom um, which is pretty boring because it's just a bathroom um, I always find bathrooms the most boring thing to design and do um, like I often see some online and I'm thinking wow that's so nice and if you have room in the house to design a large bathroom then yeah it's fun but I don't know I kind of find they all end up looking the same and yeah I think I need to go back to the drawing board with my bathrooms because um, I find them a bit boring but I, not, I liked putting in a really nice big mirror in there because everyone needs a big mirror in the bathroom <laughs> and um, yeah moving on upstairs now we're into the first of two rooms and again there are a lot of windows um, it was quite a small room uh, in you know they are small rooms but they're kind of they're big enough you know like they've got everything they need in them um, and here I've kind of done this cool thing with the wardrobe thing where I've made it intersect or whatever with <laughs> um, and you, as you can see it's all sort of a blue shady color um, sorry if it's a bit dark at the moment I think I add lights in in just a second um, that comes out in a minute and I change it for something else but I can't remember what um, oh, also in this room I do a really cool um, chair thing <laughs> which you'll see in a minute right by the window because I found this idea online and I thought I'd try it on the sims but it doesn't work too well because the chairs have backs but um, I still think it looks nice and because of the blue colour I've used all of the blue shades that come on the Sims 4 for that chair and I've kind of, um, you'll, you'll see in a minute, you'll see in a minute, it's easier for you to just wait and what, <laughs> wait and see rather than me. Here we go look, right so I started them off, yeah there you go, so it's kind of like all the shades of, shades of blue getting darker um, and then I add in some more curtains I think. So um, if you guys have any ideas at all about what kind of house you want me to build um, whether there's sort of a specific type um, then leave them in the comments below and I will try my best uh, to put them on my list and get them done because I have um, I'm pretty much free you know all summer and I kind of want feel bad I want to make it up to you so <laughs> for not being here for the last six months so yeah I will definitely um, 
you know reply to all your comments and all of that i mean i would have i've tried to keep up with the replying to comments anyway um i think i've done that pretty well but um you know regarding house builds i'm happy to more than happy to build anything you suggest um, I have a few things on my list already, I'm hoping to do another collab with Angel Simmer uh, soon and hopefully we might even actually meet up and um, sort of do a film collab rather than just sort of a she does the interior, I do the exterior or something like that, we'll actually do a proper um, together house collab which might be fun, well it would be fun <laughs> uh, if we actually get to do it. So yep, yeah, this is just the hallway, uh, I didn't really spend much time on the hallway I just kind of at this point I wanted to get onto the second room um, but I still like the colour of the walls here I think it makes it look really nice and bright considering there are no windows um, so yeah and then in a bit I move on to the bathroom in a second and I think the upstairs bathroom has a shower rather than a bath but the downstairs one has a bath so um, so it is quite spacious you know there's like enough room but there just wasn't enough room for three bedrooms or um, anything like that and also I meant to mention when we were at the kitchen part that um, I didn't include a dining room or anything like that because normally on my houses I include bar stools and a dining room if it's big enough but because this was small I thought it would look um, more modern and more studenty if you had uh, just the bar stools um, and also there wasn't really much room so that's what I went for so that was my reasoning for that uh, and yeah, so this is the second bedroom and I really like the duvet cover on this bed uh, and also I take those um, curtains off and just leave them on behind the bed because I thought it was quite, I don't know, different like a lot of the time people always put curtains on in their houses you know, if you put curtains on the, the windows in one room you're going to put them on all of them but I thought I'd just leave it because it kind of looked like a nice drape over, you know, onto the bed so that's what I did there and again here I've done the sort of um, merging wardrobe thing which I'll probably use quite a lot because uh, I quite like the effect it makes it look quite I don't know I don't know what it looks like not modern well I guess it's modern but more home fitted if you know what I mean rather than you just go out and you buy a, a wardrobe you'd have to have that fitted you know so I'm basically going to leave it there guys because that's pretty much most of the house finished and if you really enjoy this video then please hit the like button it would mean the world to me and if, and if you haven't subscribed yet please 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 subscribe um, because you'll be getting loads loads more videos. Um, so yeah have an awesome day and I will see you in my next video.